All right, so I thought it would be a little fun to show you how I did some tags, but at the same time, um, you know, I am watching my Real Housewives of New York, so I'll probably do a little commentary on that while I'm at it. And um, I'm actually having to do this over a little bit because I have a play touch screen and um, what happened with my play touch screen is it's very sensitive having a, uh, a touch screen on your camcorder and I ended up deleting some stuff that I didn't want to delete. So I'm just basically showing you the, the lowdown here on what I did that got deleted uh, on here. And I'm going to make three snowmen and I'm going to show you how I started a couple of my um, my lambs and uh, I'm doing a little bit of commentary on the show at the same time only because I thought it would be a little bit more fun to do that than to show you you know one two three this is what you must do for this tag that tag and I did that on my salt box tag so on uh, here I'm making a snow covered ground for my snowmen to be and same thing with the shading i just light blue shade with dark blue and now we're going to go over to how i did the lambs i think i did three lambs but i'm going to just show you two for now and we take the white paint i mix some water with that white paint and uh i'm just gonna I'm just going to make the same kind of thing that I do on my eggs, really. It's just, you know, basically, you're just starting off by making like a white cloud to do the lambs, you know. Not a big deal. And, uh, oh my God. Okay, so, Cindy on The Real Housewives there. I'm watching, I think it's number, um... Video number, uh, disc number three in season four, where they go to Morocco, okay? And Maria, uh, Luann's great idea to go experience the culture of Morocco. And uh, Luann tells uh, Cindy, well, she tells Sonia, first of all, I couldn't remember her name for the longest time, um, to save her a seat in the van and... Cindy gets in the van and uh, Sonia nastily, you know, nastingly says to her, that's Luann's seat, you can't sit there. Now, you know, I don't think that's right. Uh, if that was me, I mean, I would have had the same argument with Sonia that Cindy did, you know. Matter of fact, I, knowing me, I would have been worse. I would have said, you know, hey, you know, I don't see your name on this seat. So, uh, and I don't see her name on this seat either. Get over it. Get over yourself deal with it and uh, when she gets back in the car I'll deal with her you know what kind of a kindergarten atmosphere is this saving people's seats and why because she's the countess give me a rest you know here's the Santa you start the Santa off with just a circle here and I'm just going around to make a circle and that's that's Santa's body by the way in case you can't figure it out that's what it's going to be so, and for our snowman here, it's basically an elongated light bulb. And I, I, the best way to describe it is, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, and you do that on both sides. And if you go to Starla's candle making, her videos, she shows how to do some really good snowmen too. She gave me the inspiration for the shape of my snowman. But, um... You know, I didn't put in a tree and all of that like she puts in. I look at other people and what they do for inspiration, but I, I try not to copy, you know, exactly what they do. And uh, I just try to come up with my own version. But this is my snowman here. And uh, when you go to watch part two, because my first part, this part here had gotten deleted and I had to start it over. Uh... You'll see these already being done and in the making. But I'm just doing another set here so that we can keep it moving. Alright, so now we're going to move over to some black. 
goes to show you how fast these can be done. You know, for our little, our little uh, Santa here. We have some blackout. I mean, you know, not blackout, but I have some black paint out. And um, it's pretty gooky right now, so I gotta water it down. And, uh, you know, Santa's got two feet, and I make two circles down here for his feet. And I make a half circle for his belt, and then bring up a little bit of a, can you see that? A little bit of a extension here for his thing. And then over here, he's going to have a couple of arms. And this is just my own made-up Santa, you know, as we go along. Oh, my God, that Alex... Alex drives me crazy on this show because all of a sudden she's become in, in season four this this diva biatch who thinks that she can just tell off everybody and uh, she becomes all strong instead of being so meek and mild and and uh, she just doesn't have it you know she just doesn't have it in her to be, to be like that so I don't know what she thinks she's trying to prove but uh, it's not going to work because she just can't. You know, nobody's respecting her because she, they can see it's so fake. You know, that, that she just, she can't do it. She's too meek and mild. She can't have confrontation without breaking out in hives. So as soon as she goes to have confrontation, she's like, Um, you know, I need to talk to you right now. I, and it's just, you know, no, right now, you know, I really need to talk to you. And it's just, it's not intimidating, okay? It's laughable. And she's only embarrassing herself with this new thing that she's decided to take on. For Santa's head there, I put some pink mixed with white. So, because everything else is going to be like a brighter white, so, so his face can stand out there. And I think in my other videos that go with this, I'm actually going to be showing how I do the beard. But I'm just going to do another one. I actually forgot what was in the video that I deleted by accident, but... I think I might have shown this part already, but then you get to see another Santa. Here's his mustache, a half circle. Oh my god, this saving of the seat thing is driving me insane. Save the seat for Luann. Oh my god, people. Uh, please, somebody give me a break. So anyway, I do more of the Santa in the next video over. And um, I think I do the scarves too, but I'll, I'll show you how I did the scarves. I had to kind of put back part one into three parts and I kind of forgot how to, what I had erased. But anyway, here's my rib. And it's the same idea as when we made the cypress tree on the salt box house tag. Half the paint, hold it, hold it down at the side, and then lift it up as you come to the end, and then the opposite direction to meet the scarf in the middle there. And I'm just dipping it right in this red paint here, which probably needs to be stirred up. But once again, I don't, I have no patience. So we're just gonna, and like I said before, in primitive painting, anything goes. So I figure I'll just do another three tags for part one of this video. That's all. No big deal. Oh, yes. I love how they all they all go to this outdoor mall uh, in Morocco. Now, you know, you know it's going to be at an outdoor mall in Morocco. You're going to have pigs' heads hanging from, from, from hooks. You're going to have, you know, probably crickets on a stick and all this other weird stuff. And this is where they go. To have fun for the day, you know. I don't get it. They they went to house that Brad Pitt just left, and this is where they go to get their entertainment. And what do they do for entertainment while they're there? While they're at the outdoor mall, they decide they're going to argue for another half an hour about the saving of the seat for Luann. It's just totally, it's ridiculous. Uh, the things that these women talk about during the show is just, it's maddening. Now you know why I can get so many tags done while I'm doing this. Because, you know, half the time it's just craziness that I'm listening to. And it's 
it's sort of like white noise after a while when it's the same argument over and over and over and over again with these ladies. Oh my God, now Cindy's having the big argument with Sonia again over the saving of the seat. And, you know, it's so hard for me to believe that these people are actually adults. And Sometimes I wonder if they, they bring these things up on this show just so that they can have for the drama factor, you know. But it's not, I can't, I just seriously, you can't really want to sit back and say this is their real life, you know. And I think I got ahead of myself here. I think you're actually going to see this all over again in part two. But, whatever, make it funny. I think I start part two by going around the edge of my lamb. So, I'm going to leave you all right there. And uh, let you see how everything else gets finished up. As you go to part two, and uh, we'll, we'll see we'll see how this works out because, like I said, I had to fill in a part one that that got erased. And what happens with the touch screen with the play touch is you hit that you want to delete a video, and it asks you, do you really want to delete it? And if you say yes, sometimes you're deleting another video that went in its place if you touch the wrong one, and that's what happened with me. So I have to kind of like replace what I'm doing here. So tomorrow morning I'll actually come in. And finish up these tags and another handful I have. And, but for now, I have to make up my part two. And, I mean, my part one that got erased. So, um, all right. We're going to end it while they're still having the argument about saving the countess. Ugh, her seat, which is just totally... Cindy's all mad. Sonya's... She's calling over Luann to see if Luann really did tell Sonya to save her a seat. I think I think less school, high school things go on on a regular school bus than I'm witnessing right now between a countess and all these other very successful rich women. Makes me really feel good about, you know, the richness that I have in my life. And it's not monetary, but maybe it's called brains. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not even that. Anyway, uh, let's go to part two and see what happens from there. We'll talk again.